Hey up, so there's a few different types of compression that you can do on your voice. At the minute there's no compression on this ribbon microphone. This is an R1 Mark II ribbon microphone from Golden Age Project and there's no compression on it. Uh, and I'm going to speak quietly and I'm going to get a little bit louder and I'm going to get a little bit louder and then this is really loud and then I'm going to go back to quiet again. The idea behind compression is just what the name suggests. You're compressing the dynamic range of the audio into something that's a little bit more manageable, manageable so it doesn't poke out into your ears. But there's a lot of downsides with messing with the dynamic range. It sort of squashes the kind of musicality of it because life is a di is dynamic. There's a, when someone speaks to you loudly, um, you can hear and feel how loudly they're speaking, but when you reduce the dynamic range, um, it sounds sort of artificial and doesn't sound particularly good. I'm going to go really quiet. This is quiet talking and then mid-range sort of talking and very loud sort of talking. Uh, the trick is to retain the dynamics of a sound, the micro dynamics, but compress the overall level of something, which leads me on to the second type of compression, which is parallel compression. Parallel compression uses that very squashed sort of sound and um, mixes it in with or runs along parallel to the original. So you get in the bottom the very soft sort of sounds lifted up um, but the very loud sounds just where they are they stay the same uh, so at the minute this is parallel compression that you're hearing at the moment so I'm going to talk very quietly at the moment and then I'm going to go very sort of mid-range quite gently like this and then I'm going to talk quite loudly so you can hear uh, this is the loudest part of my voice. The quiet section should have been brought up to that kind of level. So I'm going to talk a little bit quieter like this. And hopefully that made a big difference. And the last type of compression is my favorite type of compression, but the most time consuming. And that is riding the levels of um, the audio, riding the fader, um, which a lot of people say, it sounds the most natural and I really like it um, for voice and um, for guitar parts, uh, bass parts, pretty much everything. But these are the three main types that I like to use. Uh, fader riding or automation, um, parallel compression and downward compression as well. I think parallel compression is sometimes known as upward compression because you bring in the lowest levels up to the loudest. Downward compression, you're squashing the whole dynamic range um, and, and uh, fader riding, you're uh, sort of doing it by eye and by ear, that kind of thing. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, please like and share. I'll see you soon.